Hello viewers, welcome to another edition of War Robots Test Server. This time we are testing the Hornet. It's a heavy weapon that is the heavy version of the Wasp. So it's mounted here on top of the Cerberus and it's got two Wasps. So essentially it's a corrosion or damage over time weapon. There will also be four of them mounted on the behemoth for testing. Also there's a magnetar. Essentially it is the it is the light version of the pulsar. Right, so let's give this a try. Here go into the ability, suppress and lock down, and then you can definitely tell there's a large uh, um, you know, double barrel here in the effects. Oh, the hawk has got us. Do we have them locked down? No, nope, guess not. Not yet. Okay, I'm going to play rather aggressively so you can see all these in action. All right, let's try the behemoth. Looks like a double barrel uh, wasp here. We have no targets. There we go. So it's a heavy version of the wasp I mentioned with damage over time that you can see. Well, quite destructive. Not as strong as uh, some heavy weapons, but it's a damage over time weapon. Okay, so I'm going to play rather aggressively so you can see all the weapons in action. Some people are playing uh, scorpions and uh, hawks, so quite powerful opponents here. Okay, a kill. Let's try to get here uh, onto the incline so we can get more enemies in view. Uh oh, now it's gone to stealth. Oh, I'm in trouble. Got him. Sure should be able to get him. Good. Triple kill. All right, now let's try the Magnetar. Here we have the Nightingale with the two pulsars and a Magnetar. Going to flight. Suppress and down again. Oh, someone else got him. Get on the incline so we can get some more enemies. All right. I heal some allies, repair some allies. Oh, there's a falcon. haven't locked down yet. There we go. Okay, let's play rather aggressively here uh, with a different robot instead. Let's see the Aries. We have two Magnetars and two Pulsar. Good lockdown here. 
not particularly that powerful, but that's like to be expected given the range, 600 meter range and uh, lockdown ability. Okay, now this one has Halo and Corona, so no new weapons here to see on this Scorpion. But let's play this out. 350. Here we go. Oh, we're right behind another Scorpion. Teleport back. Got another scorpion again as our enemy. So you can hit anybody else before we have to beam back. Oh, we did. All right, beam back just in time. Oh, there's another enemy here. Might not last long enough for us to be ready. Good. Got destroyed, but too for soon for us. Oh, that's a falcon. Okay. What's a Fenrir? Oh, it's going to be difficult to destroy. Got it. Okay, being back. Nice. Two kills. Oh, it's a falcon again. Okay, let's teleport to it. Great, while it's still uh, in its fangs out, its talons out, as it should be. Okay, teleport back. Okay, let's see if we can get that nightingale. Okay. Oh, it's in face shift. Well, someone else got it. Great fun to play this scorpion. See what this enemy is. Oh, it's a Titan. That's it for the enemies, I think. No one else is spawning. Alright, well thank you very much for watching. Let's take a quick peek at these weapons. How timely. So in this test server, let's see how we ended up. Fifth out of six. Okay, so let's take a look here. There's a Hornet, as I mentioned, the uh, heavy version of the Wasp. So it looks double barreled. Take a look at the description. Right, and this is level 8 MK1. All robots and weapons are at level 8 MK1. And then the damage that the Wasp does is considered below. Oh, 2690. But the Hornet does 2170? That doesn't make sense. 
unless somehow it's doubled with this barrel two barrels all right and then here's the pulsar first of all damage 1190 600 meter range 1060 so same mechanism 1190 and this is a light version so not that much less all right thank you very much for watching